please welcome the very famous George St. Giegland and Gil Faison. Don't touch that. <coughs> don't touch that. <coughs> don't touch it? No, don't touch that's not, that's not for you. That's, that's for a 90 Second Street White staff. Who's, who's, who's taking it? The Netanyahu's coming through to do it, though? <laughs> At some point, inevitably. Please yeah. sit down. BB. <laughs> BB Netanyahu. Yeah, you're a BB. Um, you're BB. Yeah. So let's, let's dive into it. We, we should probably address a few things first. First, 90 Second Street Y. Have, have you felt more... <laughs> That's the, that's, the, that's the designated number of claps for this place. Three. Right, one, one, two, three. The second one dips. Yeah. yeah. The uh, second one, Beetlejuice appears. In this case, Henry Kissinger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk a little, I guess we should talk for a while, just about the weather. Um, oh. Yeah. What, 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 we what have an interesting about, take on it. Is, yeah. this, uh, is this temperature good for you? Too hot? It's perfect temperature. Okay. We do a saran wrap in the morning, and then we get on a very crowded G train. <laughs> right. The G, it's like a trolley that takes you from Long Island City, mm -hmm. which, which is a terrible place, mm -hmm. to Grin Point, which is a fake place. And it's a right. three, there's only three cars on it, mm -hmm. and it makes two stops, and it runs for 20 minutes a day. We've been... Uh... Uh, n we are currently not allowed back at the uh, Russian baths, you know, down in town. Right. So, Street Rush baths. So this is nice when it's nice and humid outside. We go, sh we take a schwitz in the yeah. street. That's true. I, there's part of me. One, there's one side of me that wants to ask why you were banned from the Russian baths. Sure. So and then a very another... obvious question. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I, but I'm not sure I want to know the answer. There's there's co-ed baths. Oh no. And honey. <laughs> there's co-ed baths, uh -huh. there's men-only baths, uh -huh. and then there's a carrot juice bar. Oh, right. <laughs> and the third one is no place for nudity, apparently. Yeah. Well, that seems... But who doesn't, after they, after they sweat their brains out, who doesn't love room temperature carrot juice? Mm -hmm. John, why don't you do one of your things on beta carotene, you know? <laughs> Do one of your runs. What would, no, do one guy, of your runs. What would, guy can do runs. What, would, what would my take on that be? I just don't see you it. You know, right you'd now. be exasperated yeah. about it. Hey. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I. By the I, way, I literally cannot. <laughs> you can, really? Yeah. You literally can't? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Would I, would I know, talk for a long time? You talked for a yeah, long time. Yeah, we were wondering yeah. how do you talk that long? It's, an, it, it's an inability to read an audience. What, do you produce your own, do you produce your own Ricola? How are you talking like that? You know what we have in the United States? They're uh -huh. called commercials. Yeah, well, and they that's... allow us to go to the bathroom and you to give you tongue arrest. Yeah, you're right. Do you know that I got mesothelioma from a commercial? Did you? Are you sure about that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's either that or I swallowed a stone. Okay. Uh, now, you've, uh, you've provided me uh, very kindly with, uh, with some bullet points. And we, we gave you some suggestions, but you wrote all the questions, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, thank, thank you so much for being here. Do you come You're to welcome. the 92nd Street? Why often? Is this a place that what you are you, are you hitting on us? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, you think we're... Uh... You think you're back in boarding school? Yeah, we're not at the carriage. Back in, uh, we're not at the I'm back in Kent at yeah. boarding school, yeah, that take cycle a, of abuse. You're going to take, a, <laughs> gonna take a cricket stick and stick it up a yeah. fish? What are you going to do? And you're like, looking back, it, I still made the best friends I ever made. Okay, yeah. British guy, enjoy. <laughs> The ultimate weirdness. <laughs> uh -huh. um, but thanks for doing this. Yeah, thanks yeah. for being here. Uh, it means the world. We've so, been here a lot. Do, do you, do you, do, do you, come, to, do you come to talk to yourself? I, there was a photo Great. of Lenny Kravitz on the wall talking oh, about, sure. yeah, I, I, I imagine about himself. He's the alive Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. That's, he is. 
Yeah. Well, we saw, we, saw, we heard that Lenny Kravitz was talking, and we thought it was going to be a guy talking about Palestine. And it turns out it's a different guy. It's not the Len Kravitz that That's we came up with. And ironically, it was the one night of the whole year that someone was not talking about Palestine. Here. <laughs> right. Uh, so we came to a great program. They had a, they had a three-night thing on a history of Jewish texting, and it was so yeah. fascinating. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> the effective emoji on the Jewish diaspora. <laughs> <laughs> the portability right. of, the, of the emoji and yes. its relationship. Uh, we also we were we came to one thinking it was it was a, it was in honor of Elie Wiesel who has passed, but we thought it was going to be about. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That's good that you mentioned that he yeah. passed. Yeah. That's... Well, because it turned out we thought it was going to be about Ellie the Weasel, who's this guy. Oh yeah, a, great guy. He's a la our landlord. He's a real shifty fellow. <laughs> if, uh, he's well, one of the great <laughs> Central Park characters. He sells balloons, but it's masculine. <laughs> That's. That's a lovely use of the word shifty. It, it always is. Yes. Uh, that's so, a pivot. That, top, see, that's a pivot from Elie Wiesel to the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a different so, move. Impossible, yeah. impossible to answer this Thank quickly you. or concisely, right. but top three talks that you've seen. Here at the 90 Secretary, oh. why do not oh. use the words Kissinger or Mozart? Okay. <laughs> Boy. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, we, kiss, we love seeing Kissinger know, here on War Crime Amnesia I Night. Know. <laughs> uh, I know. And then it's a great front row center. Yeah. You, were front row you know center. what? I, I think Dershowitz v. Dershowitz yeah, the, was a good one. The conservative uh -huh. side of Dershowitz and the and the liberal side of Dershowitz just hashing it out in in swimming trunks, no less. <laughs> wow. The guy thinks it's Martha's Vineyard. Always. We were here for another goddamn evening with Norman Lear. That was a good <laughs> night. <laughs> this time his hat spoke, and we got to hear Did, from uh, the hat. Did, I, I'm interested with the, with the Dershowitz talk regarding the Russian investigation. Was there a side of him that won out as to whether it was a big deal or a? Small he said deal? this was the single biggest crime in U.S. history. He did. And then the other Dersh said uh, we don't have enough information. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, so uh, Gil and George, oh hello on Broadway was a massive hit. Yeah. In coital terms. <laughs> in coital. In coital terms. terms. Oh, in, in coital terms, it was a night with a brunette ten. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oh, Jan Oliver, you Jan can't Oliver. use terms like oh, yeah. and I, um, it's not, you know. I it's... already regret co-signing on that phrase. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How does the show compare to other Broadway shows? Uh, uh, in general, I guess. I, uh, no, diplomacy, diplomacy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, this one, look, I gotta be honest, this Hello Dolly is out now, you know? <laughs> you may have heard about it. <laughs> and they took half our words. They did. Like, oh, hello is only two words. They took one of our major, yeah. they took our longest word. Yeah. <laughs> and also, oh, hello, at least that's an expression. You know, you don't say hello, Dolly. You say, you do say hello, Dolly, if you're, you know, calling the Dalai Lama. And you're like, hello, Dolly. Oh, you're, at, you're giggling at some Hollywood benefit right now? Yeah. <laughs> that guy, that guy is always giggling. The Dalai Lama breaks more than Fallon. The guy's likes, nuts. He does. The Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu should have a giggle off. Yeah. They did. They, 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 they wrote a book together, and in promoting it, there was a lot of giggling. Oh. They set each other off. <laughs> it's so fun. It's, you know, Harvey Korman and the, and the other one. The absolutely. Yeah, you know, Tim Conway. Absolutely. Tim Conway. And then, uh, what else? You know, there's a lot of great Broadway shows this season. Come, this, from, this, come away. from Away. Come From Away. This is big like, at the which, Tony Awards. Oh, yeah, they but, did Come From Away. Come From Away is not that great, though. I mean, I've done it over Skype. I've, <laughs> I've come from no, away no, no, for, for, no, this, this, for these Japanese no, businessmen. No, I've okay. come from there's, away. Gail, oh, Gail, Gail, there's let's, young people here. Let's, continue, continue. Okay, let's move yeah, on. So what you do is you get on a Skype with this Japanese businessman, and you dress like a little Japanese schoolgirl, like I do, and then... And uh, no money changes hands. Oh, no, it's no money. I mean, there's an Amazon wish list. <laughs> Give me this is prepared. And then this material. is. Give me a couple of the, glimpses. We, a doll's house part two. I have more. A doll's <laughs> house part two. You know, I, I, what do I think about that? Uh, <laughs> what do you? It's, it's interesting. Let me think in real time about it. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, you know, it's the story of a woman that returns to a terrible marriage, and it stars Miss Huma Abedin, Huma ladies and gentlemen. Abedin. Huma Abedin. Huma Abedin. Huma Abedin. 
but you know, we kid Huma, but we're glad she's out at all these new. She's with the Met Gala. She's out at a lot of events. Just take a victory lap. You yeah. you earned it, Huma. Yeah, <laughs> it, and it's a bummer. You know, we think that Anthony Weiner got really screwed on the Tonys this year. He wasn't even nominated for Smoothest Chest. Nothing. And. Yeah. Uh, I was just, you mentioned yeah. your Amazon wish list, yeah. and there's, I would just love to know, just today, because I'm sure you change it a lot. Yeah. D dip in for me, what's on there? It's five or six boxes white, white cheddar cheese it. He, he doesn't realize every time he looks at a space heater, he adds to cart. So uh. the, every space heater he's ever looked at is on there. Wow. I said, you have 34 things in your cart. He said, right. no, I don't. Yeah. And I look, uh, you know, it's all little space heaters. Oh, you have, a, you have, a, you have access to his uh, Amazon account? Yeah, we, no, we use, we use a Dell computer at a tasty delight. OK, that makes sense. <laughs> I, he doesn't log off. I don't we log don't log off. off. We you go don't ever log there. off at a Kinko's, by the way. That's, That's how they a get terrible you. advice. Stay signed stay, in. No, do, do you go to Kinko's? I, I don't, you should always log off. No, you shouldn't. That's a that's a that's a fallacy. That's no. a fraud. No, because I log off when I'm doing Come From Away. Uh -huh. And <laughs> we saw Sunday in the Park with George, and this this was Gyllenhaal so committed, he was more intense than Mandy Patinkin, yeah. and that that is the first time that sentence has ever been spoken. <laughs> Uh, well, you, there's uh, another one here. Why didn't you two host the Tony Awards? Be sure to print this question for Oliver. We need him to ask it. Oh, oh well, I, I don't know if we want to answer I that. I don't know if we uh, can answer that, politically speaking. Why didn't, uh, why didn't we host I mean, the look, Tony Awards? I don't know. I'm embarrassed by that question. Yeah. You know, people, I don't, you know, come on. You know, we're, we're good at humility. Uh-huh. You know, so but why, it's tough. Though? I know. But why, know. Well, well, because, you know, look. Is we, it spicy? Is it, in, uh, he did a wonderful job, did you know? Great but job. halfway through, I went, that's, that's, that's Kaiser Permanente. I yeah, realized he's it. Doing that. <laughs> mm -hmm. We would, but we are going to host the Tony Shaloubs. This is an award That's ceremony. He shows off his various Emmys from Monk. Yeah. <laughs> you remember Monk? Remember, remember Monk? show Monk? Do you want to hear a 10-year-old joke? Oh, uh, sure. What? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see every scene from the yes. show Monk? I do. Yeah, oh, I can't go in that crime scene. I have OCD complex. And scene. OK. <laughs> What's, uh, I'm interested, what is your position on the morality of playing off Bette Midler during an acceptance speech? How can you not play you off gotta, Bette you know, they, you, you, you got to have, have that Valanche energy to fly by the seat of your big novelty T-shirt, you know? <laughs> you got to be ready to go based okay. on what happens. Like if someone trips, you got to come out and you got to laugh at them and stuff. Yeah. Now, Bette Midler, would you, would you ever interview her on your show? I don't think so. Why not? <laughs> She's so funny. She, she tells it like it is. She sure does. You know, sure does. it's actually, it's not pronounced, it's like bar bot. It's pronounced Bess Midler. Bess Midler. Bess Midler. Bess Midler. Bess, like a bas mitzvah. Bess Midler. Bess Midler. It's Bess Midler. You're absolutely yeah. sure about that. You should absolutely. know that, John. And when you, meet her, and when you meet her, call her Bess Midler. Call her Bess Midler. <laughs> You promised me that's the way to go. Absolutely. Absolutely. You should know that as an English Jew. Yeah, wait, you're Jewish, right? You Jewish? You Jewish? You Jewish? You Jewish? I don't want to have this conversation with you again. You Jewish? <laughs> Are you Jewish? I'm not actually Jewish. Are you Jewish? No, I'm, I'm not actually Jewish. You're not Jewish? I'm not, I don't you're not like, actually? I don't like that tone. What is it? What is that? I don't like the is way your body goes. Is that why you don't goes, support Israel? Well, that's not. <laughs> I knew this was where we were going. Yeah. And you I didn't want to be look, here. Look, we steal HBO Go from a niece of mine. Thank but you. That I am, Thank but you. I am disgusted Thank that you. you refuse to go after Obama on Israel. Yeah. This is the story. Barack Hussein, Hussein Obama. Hussein Sagpaneer this Obama. Is, this is still relevant. And this is still relevant. This is relevant. This that is man still. is cheese cubes and sauce, that yeah. guy. What do you call Hello Dolly in England? Cheerio fruitcake? What do you call it there? <laughs> he burnt your whole thing, your, your whole kingdom. Stupid. That was dumb that was, country. That was, dumb country. That, was, that was a laser guided missile <laughs> yeah, right. to the heart of my people. Uh, it's a tomahawk, baby. Yeah, tomahawk missile right there. Uh, in the I don't want to start a whole thing, but in terms of supermarkets, D'Agostinos or Gristini's? Mm. <laughs> great question. I this like is... an abandoned food emporium, actually. Oh, that's a nice one. That is With nice the ghosts of some framboise strawberries. Yeah. Now. 
You know that I lived in a Grand Union for six years one time. Six years? Yeah, it was a red... Listen! I'm listening, I'm listening to it. <laughs> this is where the burst head was. There was a whole uh -huh. burst head section. Right. And I, you could smell old roast beef. And, uh, and this was, I mean, I feel like now it's like in terms of sliced organic turkey, you have Applegate and no other choices. Yeah. Okay. And there was a time when there was bizhead. Jan Oliver, why don't you do an investigation in why nitrates are uh, no good? Right. You got to do something favorable, I think, on Amy's organic soups. <laughs> These really? are healthy soups that give you the most healthy and troubling warm farts. Okay. And <laughs> These are just sea train ruiners. So <laughs> you ever, you ever, you ever let ruin a, a, a wet sea lentil train. soup fart go? Going from 42nd Literally. to 34th, Jan Oliver. Does anyone so, ever eat lentils or chickpeas and go, these agree with me? Yeah. <laughs> and there's some like. 15-year-old Puerto Rican girl on the train sitting next to you being like, you are dying inside. <laughs> that, that Puerto Rican detail was unnecessary. Uh, thank you. you. <laughs> that's good. It, uh, that's he's like kind. Scorsese. He paints the whole picture, uh, a New does. York picture. <laughs> My he does. Oh, uh, yeah, I used to live on Christopher Street, and we, the priests had all the uh, copies of Rocco and his brothers. Okay, Marty, next story. <laughs> Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe tonight. What, uh, <laughs> who, who are some younger comedians that uh, you two can mention to make yourselves seem more relevant? Oh. Okay. Oh, you know. You know, this We're of, the big dogs. We're the big but dogs. But there are some uh, up and comers. Yeah, but we like to, you know. Sure. You know, we like to condescend. You know, we like okay. to say, you know, we discovered Aziz I'm sorry. You did? <laughs> That's great. Schumer, Chuck. You're going to oh. see. Uh, Good things. Keep an eye out for Chuck Schumer. Okay. Very funny. Very funny. Very yeah. funny. Is he on Instagram? Chuck? Yeah. He is. I would Follow everyone. He is. There's almost no way that he isn't. Yeah. Oh. You mean there's a picture? You all right there, buddy? No, no. I, I, a milkshake I had earlier came up, but then it went right back down. <laughs> okay. never... How many milkshakes do you have a day? I'm, Vanilla one. I'm going to be honest with you, and it's going to disappoint you. Yeah. It's, I, I can easily go for a whole week without having a milkshake. But I, when you worked at Daily Show in Hell's Kitchen, you ever go to Cosmic Diner on 8th Avenue? I did. I did. That's a nice Isn't it? Is it just me, or is it hard to tell which is the women's or the men's room? So it's perfectly acceptable to just walk into the women's room, right? <laughs> I feel like people have been saying that about Cosmic. Um, what would you eat there? Beans and stewed tomatoes? <laughs> Come on. Uh, give me fresh tomato with cream cheese. Yeah. Take a fucking hike. Yeah. <laughs> Good election, by the way. Yeah, Thank way to you. go. <laughs> way to go. Thank you. R right back at you. <laughs> um. hey. hey, hey, we're with her. Yeah. Who, who? Jill Stein. Jill Stein. Stein. <laughs> we just sent her another $20,000. Yeah. You did? Yeah. Yeah. You did. said she needs it. Yeah, she's, she's, she's walking around Wisconsin McGruff style and trying to... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's all got these. A recount of her money. recount, yeah. She's got some great ideas. Yeah, she really does. Um, I think this question is very interesting. What projects do you two have coming up? Oh, uh, very generic good. question. <laughs> You know, we're, we're, we're excited to kick off. We're going to be doing a four-person amazing race. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. Yes, with Dr. Ben Carson and Gene Simmons and the two of us. <laughs> and we already shot it. And it's right. really, we get stuck in the Himalayas for a while. Because <laughs> three of us need our Valtrex refilled. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, tough. Ben, write the fucking script, man. Yeah. Wow. And the Sherpas look the camera. It's yeah. a fun time. Yeah. And then we're going to do another play. You are? Yeah, it's yeah. called I Hate You, I Love You, Let's Switch. And <laughs> it's, okay. sort of, it's, it's an 80s comedy. It's an 80s comedy. I'm, we're you. It's a, you're us. Let's talk. Yeah, so <laughs> that's what it was, wasn't it? It's, it's all the same. Plus, what we're doing, it's, it's, it's ostensibly, uh, you know, we'll change the title, but it's an episode of Moonlighting. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We don't want to do get that. gouged by the guild, so we're going to change all the names. But we were going to get Bruce Willis to do it, but it turns out he's in asshole jail. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. He's in asshole jail. Stuff. 
You know, it's man, hard. I told you. I don't tell, where, where is that? It's, it's, it's in his own mind. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> that, that, He's can, there. that can trap you. The theater, is that, is that the, the throbbing oh, part of where you two feel like you? Uh, I, I mean, you're a TV guy, so you wouldn't understand That's this. Right. It's crass, but the yeah. state. No, but I get it. it I get it, it's you know. It's disposable That's yeah. television. But Something that you work thing. so hard on these things, and they're gone. They're in the ether. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the theater is forever. The theater is forever. Is it though? No, it's yeah. not no, in many ways. Not. In it's many over. ways, it's only that night. But mm. in a lot of ways, <laughs> in a lot of ways, it's it's forever in the minds of that little kid in the audience that goes, oh, maybe life will be okay. Yeah. Because mm. I saw, oh, hello. Yeah. What's the uh, what's the youngest child that you had during your? Uh, broadcast? We had an ultrasound. <laughs> you did. <laughs> You this did. guy was a kicker. Yeah. Uh, he had little fists <laughs> and a big dome. Yeah. Okay, One of those he looked like a T-Rex. I thought it was at first. Yeah. It, it turned out to be an alien. I mean, that is the truth. The alien popped right out of his stomach. It was, uh, it was just small alien, but it got buried by the mainstream media. Oh, they wouldn't cover it. I don't it. want to start you. We thought it was going to be, no, no, uh, you know. Do you think dinosaurs are put together correctly? The bones. <laughs> You're smart. What do you question. think? You do a research I, on that, I, Oliver. I, I never. <laughs> I never thought about it. I, I, do you just stay up all night looking at microfiche in a <laughs> montage? <laughs> I think, mean, like like many issues, there may be nuance there. I guess. Oh. You know. Well, look. When you see a T-Rex, do you go, yes. uh, "Yeah, they put that together correctly." <laughs> he's this big fucking stud, right? But then yeah. he's got these little arms. That's right. You know, I bet they found two arms in the hole after they put them together, and they're like, fuck, what are we doing? I with guarantee these? you, I guarantee you, if you saw the spaceship that those guys flew off on. Wow. Buddy, that's not. The wow. wheel is coming up real close to those tiny little grabbers, you know what I mean? That's how you know. When you they find, still believe in this stuff. What, that, that a ship took off with the, the dinosaurs? Yeah, of course I do. He's been 10 years out of Sea Org, and you're still spouting this stuff every night. <laughs> Uh, what, what's your take on Alex Jones? Oh, this is classic. Yeah. The guy's a loud mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're not afraid. <Okay. laughs> We're not afraid to go after him. He's no. a loud mouth. What uh, do you think about Alex Jones? Uh, he's, he's, he's great. Yeah. Uh, Gil and George. <laughs> Gil and George, the country is more divided than ever. Yeah. A funny. <laughs> a fun... It really is, isn't it? A funny... It's a tough time a in the funny country, joke. isn't it? And it's our job to bring people together. Oh, it's to, so important yeah. not to divide. Uh, uh, Every, you know, we make a lot of people very happy. Right. A, a funny joke is that Obama was once criticized for not wearing a tie. Meanwhile... Get it, land it. <laughs> the current president now you're blowing should it be now. in a straitjacket. Ah. <laughs> and then the, the question you have Oh, is, Jesus. Please. Oh. Oh my god. Please. Oh my god. We're bad. We're being bad. <laughs> Please let loose on everything. <laughs> Please let Please. loose on everything. Please let loose on everything. Yeah. Well, you know, the, it, for starters, this Shin Spicer. <laughs> yes. Sean this Spike. guy. I, I, I got you. I, I got you. I got you. He's, he's got no need, traction. The man has no there. traction. There you Look go. at those I slippery did, sandals. I did it all by myself. That I was did great. It all by myself. Shin Spicer. Sean okay. Spicer. I mean, yeah. this Shin Spicer. Yeah. This yeah. guy looks like your gym teacher when he had to teach sex ed. Yeah. <laughs> right. Shin Spicer. Uh, <laughs> Shin Spicer. Shin is like if you watch a Japanese game show, but they bring an American on and they ask him questions. <laughs> Shin Spicer is so bad at making up lies in the moment. Mm -hmm. If he was, if he was Kaiser Sose right. in Usual Suspects, he would have told the cops his name was Mr. Bulletin Board behind you. <laughs> <laughs> he's bad. He's you know, bad. but oh, listen, bad, I want to say bad. something. Yeah. Gil and I, bad. Gil and I were talking about yes. this in an Uber pool. Yeah. <laughs> with three girls from Spence, and, <laughs> and these were young girls. You know, 
it's one thing to go after Trump, but going after his children is another thing, you know? And I think that it's a much easier thing to go after the kids. <laughs> And it's, it's, they're more defenseless. And I think in terms of routes, it's a very clear route. <laughs> That's I went sure. after Amy Carter hard. I, I believe that. I would. I'd go, what, why are you hiding your body behind overalls? You said that. Your front you? arena. I yelled that. Yes, yes. Back then, there was no gate did. or door on the White House, so you could you walk up. It. They had an open foyer. I went wow. After, I went Carter out. was a weak man, and he had an open <laughs> foyer. <laughs> he was very nice, and he was not great at the job, we're told. Uh, and, you, and you yelled at his daughter. I, well, she came downstairs. I go, you're developing. Oh. Expre no, it's OK. Oh. That, it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> I go, why are you hiding behind those oh, Oshkosh? No. <laughs> no, hey, come on. I was a younger man then. I was 48 that when this happened. Matter, okay. It matters I, I a went, little. I it, went hard at Reagan's wife. I said, oh, you Nancy. And she was that, she said, that's my name. And then and so she got me good. OK. Uh, she was brittle as hell. We would sneak her vitamin yeah, D. Sure. She turns out she was me. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't a pun, but it, no, it, it or wordplay. Uh, rest in peace, Nancy Reagan. Turns out she was made of paper airplanes. No. Yeah. She was origami, and Reagan knew it, and he protected her. And he didn't say a word. Wow, that's, that's fully formed, that theory, right? <laughs> <laughs> Especially the end. Uh, you know, we, learned, we learned a lot about your uh, past partners. During the, oh boy, during yes. the uh, stage show. There was a HBO, there was a Jinx follow-up. Right. And it was a schmear. It was a pip schmear. schmear. It was a pip schmear. It was a pip schmear. It was an everything bagel with it was a, a whipped schmear. It right. was a tempty, a whipped cream cheese. But it would, no, it was worse. It was a sabra schmear. It was a schmear. It was a sabra hummus with the garlic thing in the center, yeah, with the roasted red pepper. I'll say. In the center. As precise as that is. Yeah. And why is Sabra the only hummus we can find anymore? And how does tahini fit into this conspiracy? A I, that's just a sequence of legitimate questions. My only, <laughs> my only pushback is yes. that you back. Go back to the jinx allegations that's against right. me. It, yeah. it didn't look good from the outside. When I confessed in the can, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. I did a, I, I can, I, I, my, two of my wives are missing. And if, if anyone has any information, I'm kidding, I know where they are, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, uh, they take the hutch <laughs> and then switch to the cross Bronx. Yeah. And then go till you think it's safe and pull over. <laughs> Anyway, so they jinx me, you know? They, I, I they wire me and they send me into the commode. Yeah. And they give, they give me uh, ginger beer right before, so I'm in there for a while. <laughs> this guy's Robert Burps. Yeah. Do, do you talk to Bobby Durst? Were you, were you ever? Yeah, sure, we know about him. Oh, oh, yeah, we, you know, we, 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 yeah, we were, yeah, he's the second worst son of a real estate magnate in New York City. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that was you take that's, that. That's almost worth a glass. It yeah, is. We, yeah. It was close. It was we were, you can have that. We lived up in Vermont when Bobby Durst went up there to start the, the health food store. The health food store. Right. We, say, and, and we he, opened the rival one. We were opened the rival one across the street. And he said, guys, wow. I'm trying to get on the straight now. I can't kill any more he, women. He goes, he said, he said please, he said this is the only that. thing that has ever made me happy. And I go, sorry, Bobby D. Yeah, and right. we drove down the price of preserves on that block. Yeah. Did. Yeah. And his shit went belly flop. And uh, he do, went do, insane. Do you feel any? <laughs> do you feel any? Remorse? Nope. I'll answer before I, you get to the word remorse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, just that, that we was it was selling preserves at a, at a loss. I mean, yeah. that's the only. We bought them from I this have. groovy Native American reservation at cost, and then we we were able to sell them at a pretty low price to eventually, you know, gaslight Robert Durst into murder. <laughs> It's, look, it's, 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 it's morally gray, but it's an undeniably attractive And then who story. is that ass? <laughs> who is the prick up there on the handball court in uh, Vermont? Bernie. Uh, Bernard, yeah, that little uh, asshole. Wait, you're not, not, uh, not Madoff? No. No. No, no, uh, Madoff's our guy, though. Yeah, no, oh. we, he, he said, you want in on this pyramid scheme? I go, I don't like fucking triangles. And... <laughs> and so he told us it was an oval. Yeah. And, and that got you in. And he was a talker. Bernie, that's what people don't know, is he was cunning. 
And <laughs> so if you said, I don't like pyramids, you go, OK, what do you like? We go, oval, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's an oval scheme. And then we thought it, we were going to invest in Ovaltine. And <laughs> that's a chocolate breakfast drink yeah. from the 50s. It's like a carnation yeah. instant breakfast, which is chocolate milk for bad moms. This, <laughs> that's, that's actually a perfect segue to the next question on here, which is, do you two see a therapist? Yes. Therapists. Oh. Therapists. Oh, uh, yes. Therapy. I'm in scream therapy currently. Are you? I am in scream therapy. I have been for the last uh, 45 years, I think. But you leave too early. Well, I don't want to lose my voice. But <laughs> he doesn't, you don't get to the therapy part. You're no. just rolling around on the floor, channeling infancy. Yeah. And he comes home with a head of steam. Yeah, it's no. like steam cauliflower, and I'm not kidding, you know? He comes in, and I don't say that to be cute. He comes in like steam cauliflower. Like steam cauliflower. Yeah. yeah and, and, he's, and he's dredged up all these memories from when he was a and boy. And this guy comes in like grilled broccolini, you know, bitter. Yeah. And, and wilted. Uh, and wilted. Yeah. Yeah. What do you like you, broccoli, you, Rob? What, what do you do? Do you? Well, let's, what, do let's, you do? what do you do? What do you do? Broccoli, Rob. I can deflect that quickly. Where do you get broccoli? <laughs> Where do you get broccoli, Rob? Where do you said? get broccoli, Rob Schneider? From? Did you, uh, what, uh, I was interested to know if, you, if you'd ever been in. in uh, Put that finger at me, I'm going to bite it right <laughs> off your head. I believe that. I believe yeah, that. Yeah, you, uh, you know I will. Uh, uh, have the two of you ever been in a therapy session together? Yeah, we were. Sure. We're, we're has in a therapist group therapy. ever addressed this? Yes. That's what yes. I'm saying. What do you mean? This. As, as a therapist. Two ever, equals? That, uh, two stars, two equals? Yeah. With sure. no peers? Has, yeah. a, has a therapist ever had the opportunity to deal with? all of this. We were in a group therapy yes. thing that was so helpful and it aired on New York One on Sundays. Yeah. Right. And it was like 10 of us in a round table with mug water. I, right. And we would, it was about, about an hour, we'd go through the paper and then we'd really get into it. We were in a group therapy that turned out to be a cult. It was a Marxist Pilates Jewish cult in the late, in the 70s. It was called the Davidson Group. Okay. It was led by this guy, Davidson. Yeah. Who was, oh God, he was an asshole. Yeah. But we love him so much. And, you know, famously, I'm the only guy to ever get kicked out of a cult for being too into it. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. The day before suicide day. Yeah. This you, guy. They asked you to leave. They he comes home leave. hat in hand. Yeah. And they had hats because they'd shaved uh -huh. all their body hair. Yeah, and they go, we don't want you in the afterlife. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Uh, let, let's play a twist on the classic game, F. Murray Kill, called F. Murray Abraham. Yeah. Okay. Sure, of course. This is the new game. I will, uh, I will name three celebrities, and, and oh, God, and you tell me... And what me, are the rules? You, you tell me... <laughs> How does this work? You tell me who, who you would F, who you would what Murray... What does F stand for? And, <laughs> and who you would Abraham. Yeah. <laughs> Pamela Anderson. Whoa. Ooh. Tens. Okay, ah. we start with tens. Uh, uh, Gene Triplehorn Gene and, Triplehorn. and Triplehorn. F. Murray Abraham. <laughs> okay. I would F. Uh, this is Ooh, hard. It's tough. I would, I would F. Mm -hmm. F. Murray Abraham. Okay. So who would you Murray? I would Murray. Who would you Murray? I'd Murray F. Murray Abraham. Okay. So that just leaves you with someone to and Abraham. And I'd kill F. Murray Abraham. <laughs> okay. Uh, for me, let's see. I would, uh, I would marry Jeannie Triplehorn because mm -hmm. I love her. Yeah. Because I'm in love with her. Really? Yeah, and I see. He ran at the screen during Wonder World. Yeah, I thought. And he ran at the. I ran at like the a little screen. kid would, or in, like yeah, an immigrant and at Ellis Island. I saw her in Basic Instinct, and I said, "Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Don't be the bad guy!" <laughs> and yeah, I said that a number of times. I yeah. said that at her, the gate to her home. Uh -huh. and Do you know Basic Instinct? It was uh, written by Joe Estehausen, directed by a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pamandison, I'm. I yes. would Murray. Uh, really? Yeah, I would Murray uh, Pamandison because it'd be watch. You know what I mean? Because and these are both words. And then I would. Uh, I would. What was the other one? Abraham. I would Abraham. I would Abraham F. Murray Abraham as if he were Isaac and I would sacrifice him <laughs> as it were to be God's will. To be God's will. Wow. Yeah. That took a turn because I thought you were running out of steam and then you no. really no, threw some no, coal no, in no. there, didn't you? That's what God said to Abraham wow. when he was about to kill He said, take his... your son, get on the hutch yeah. and go until you <laughs> hit 84, then 684. Right. Yeah. 
And he said, I don't, I don't have a car. He said, take the train to Brewster. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the next one says, Where do you go on Metro North? Metro what are your North? favorite stops on What's Metro your North? <laughs> What's your favorite stop? What's your favorite stop? I mean, it's hard. The answer is Mount Kisco, my friend. <laughs> Is it? Uh, genuinely the best stop on the Metro North. Why, why so? Uh, bathroom. <laughs> you, ever go, you ever ride the NJ Transit after a bad show, after a bad taping your show, you ever just blow off steam? You know, the and show what, was crap. <laughs> your political points were leftist and insane. <laughs> you ever get a tall boy and ride the NJT? <laughs> and just, just ride it? Just ride it. Just ride it looking, looking for answers. Or, or hijack it. Yeah. Hijack the train. Yep, to Bergen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You hit that, that P, just it, hit that he's microphone pop. so hard. These yeah. will pop. These will pop. Um, You've been hijacking American culture for the last number of years, haven't you? <laughs> I mean, it, it's hard to know if that's a compliment or an insult. We're building to something. Yeah. <laughs> Who are your influences? My influences? Who yeah. are your comedy influences? Oh, that's nice of you to ask, I guess. Um, Armando Anucci, do you know him? Boring. Okay. Yeah. What? What's it? Oh, he created uh, In The Loop. He did. He did. What is the name again? Armando Iannucci. Huh. He's, uh, he's very good. Obviously, Monty Python. Oh, yeah, that shit. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, the absurdist. Yeah. Right, uh, How many times did you sneak into the second act of Spam a lot? <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't see it. Oh. You didn't see it? Well, we used to sneak in. We used to second act. act all the shows. We never saw the first act of anything. No. Really? Ever? No. Truly have no idea what's happening in most shows. Yeah. Right. But you know how it, where it lands. We would always steal the end of a cigarette and, and walk out. Oh, we would yeah. be smoking outside. And despite the fact that we were stowaways, we'd yell at the stage. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. we go what, we we go see Phantom of the Opera. Who broke the chandelier? What happened? Uh huh. And we would make the cast fill us in. <laughs> you would. And the nice thing is, is if even you got your cigarette butt, you just and you don't want to throw it away, you just pop you it and eat it. chew yeah. on it. It's be scum. Okay. Um, so you have very predictable British influences. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is your night off, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Thank you for doing this. Please, please ask me how I feel about the whole Bill Maher thing. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I was going to ask him. How do you feel about the I was whole gonna Bill ask Maher thing? Let's, I think we need to get to a Q&A in yeah. a second. Part of the appeal of Oh Hello <laughs> is that young men aspire to be you two, sure. and young women, young enough even to be your daughters, oh God, are lining up with their diaphragms <laughs> to get a it's night, a night with you two. Oh, it doesn't say. Anything. How does all the deserved fame make you feel? Oh my well, God! Oh uh, my God! You know, as we do, as we unveil the Oh Hello on Broadway on Netflix, which is. It's streaming, Sorry, that's, binge should, watch. Yeah, today, right? It's streaming current. I don't know, is it today? There's yeah. absolutely no way you have streaming capability. No, but if anybody here Fair. has uh, Netflix and they want a VHS, a copy of it for us, mm -hmm. we'll take that. Can we stay with you for a while and no. watch? <laughs> You know, we look back, we did, we did Oh Hello on Broadway mm -hmm. in, in the fall of 2016. This was during the Obama years. Yeah, which, <laughs> which in retrospect feel like some sort of cabaret-esque pre-Nazi era. Yeah. Right. And... So, yeah. Right? It was a to that we time. say yeah. we'll come in, which is German for welcome in. Because uh, German is like English, but it's I's instead of E's. It's angrier. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I think that we, we occupy uh, a place in the hearts of theater fans, and we occupy Wall Street. And we occupy Walgreens. We occupy I Walgreens. I was part of the Occupy Walgreens movement. <laughs> they hated the 1%, you know? I love whole milk. And, uh, and then we moved on to the Rite Aid. Uh, Red Aid. Red Aid. What's yeah. your favorite aisle at Red Aid? Because we've got about five minutes on it. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll take a look probably through the, uh, through the soap aisle. Oh, nice, wonderful. But I'll, I'll, look, I'll look for some Burt's Bees. Oh, you like oh. a Burt's Bees? I like a Burt's Bees lip balm. Yeah. Burt's Bees is good because you got to keep using it because it dries out your lips. Very yeah. good. That's... When I, I, I always pick up a Burt's Bees when I go to get my prescription at Rite Aid. You do? You know? Yeah, they have a waiting area too if it's not ready where you can sit next to someone's dying abuela. <laughs> 
I like Wait for your Valtrex, the gene. <laughs> you know what I love? I go to Renee's. <laughs> it's like, no, it's nice. There's like four chairs. And it's a nice. heart, a heart blood pressure thing that nobody wants. I like to go, you know the balls that they have in big, you know, fenced in areas? Yes. So light you can't even throw them. <laughs> You know how children still <laughs> like colored balls, yes. but of course they don't? Yeah. <laughs> I like to go to one of the two aisles exclusively selling Werther guns. Uh, I like to confront people with a Red Aid rewards card on their keychain. Yeah. Yeah. You keep it on your keychain. Yeah. It would be cooler to just lose the money. Yeah. <laughs> how many. How many, how many uh, what? How many, punch, how many what? How many, how many girls a week? How many no, ladies no, a week? Not, many that. not that. Not that. How, how many times? How many loyalty cards do, do, do you fold that into your wallet? That is such a good question. Right. Yeah, let's see how many loyalty cards. We, well, we, I had a great Medell's card that was going to go the distance, and I snapped it in half, cutting up cheap cocaine. <laughs> cheap cocaine. I was pounding cheap cocaine. Uh -huh that turned out to be uh, like a plant food thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and now we're growing basil in our stomach. Yeah. Okay. And it's an urban garden. Yeah. And uh, let's see, I have a loyalty card uh, to, uh, well, to the Communist Party. I still have one. Really? Yeah. That's he nice. still has his card. He was never blacklisted because he didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Right. But you're, you're in the unions. I'm in the unions. I'm in the grand union, as I said earlier. <laughs> uh -huh. Am I in the... Oh, I'm a sack after must leave. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm... I apologize for... I didn't mean to... Pimping me into... Be pimping you into that? Joke that? It's a great joke. It just, uh, you know... It Not tonight. It you doesn't know? appeal to this audience. <laughs> it's, uh... Because you're, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, am I in any of you? B&H. You have the rewards card for B&H. Yeah, B &H. Uh, yeah. Re loyalty card. I mean, what, just what, what kind of um, stores do you really stick by for I'm, your own? Well, I'm a I won't go to Barney Greengrass. I'm not allowed in Barney Greengrass mm -hmm. anymore. Because uh, I would take their salmon and pulverize it and use it as a toothpaste. Oh. <laughs> A smoked salmon toothpaste. Have you ever used a smoked salmon toothpaste? Because it's hard to capture that fish breath right before bed. What do you brush with, sturgeon? I, no. I... Is there a sturgeon general to give warnings about sturgeon? I know the answer. It's a joke. Do you ever do a sweetened sable? What's that? It's just sugar cane and sable, and uh, that's a pun. <laughs> so uh, you know, we we have a Cinderella card. Yeah, you do. And oh. it's, a real, it's Cinderella has such a Cinderella oh, story. Yeah. Because mm. it's like it seems so great, and then midnight hits, and you're like, this place has only fucking one brand of orange juice. Mm -hmm. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> let's let let's talk before we uh, throw it out to questions from the audience. Let's let's talk about say bars. Let's talk Absolutely. about Sabari. So now, let's with, talk your, about with let's say you're you're right in the middle of Central Park. Yeah. Right. Are, oh. you, are you going? Are you going? Up a West, are you going up a Wesley bus? The first or are you this... going to the right? Yeah. This is a. You're in the, the right. center of Central Park. You're in the East. center of Central Park. You're equidistant between Zaybars on the Upper West Side. This is the Am I facing is this Manhattan and or on the, the upper that East thing side. to the north? <laughs> That's Harlem. What? That's Harlem. Uh, from different strokes. <laughs> and that whole cast suffered. Uh. <laughs> so I'm facing the town to you're, my right you're is the Upper town. West Side. To your right is the, the Upper Dakota. West Side. To your left to the Dakota. Listen, Pete, which, isn't, where it's Jim terrible, Lennon, uh, it's Jim Lennon what overdosed. Actually, no. Um, In a sense. In, <laughs> he o overdosed on bullets, if that would be <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just, I'm trying. This is like one of the I'm three people from your country to do something <laughs> worthwhile. Who's the other two? Princess Diana and then who else? Excuse Ricky me? Gervais. <laughs> Ricky Gervais. I don't like, I do not like. I'm gauging what I want to say right now. Yeah. Now we're big Dodi Al Fayed guys. Yeah. <laughs> It was, a, it was a tragedy. Yeah. It was a tragedy. No, it, it really was. was. All kidding aside. It was a tragedy. All kidding aside. Um, <laughs> uh, if anyone has... Zabars. Zabars. 
go west, baby. We're not, this is the, we have a, we have a. Oh, the boys reign supreme now, too, because the other, H&H &H is gone. H&H &H is gone. Mm -hmm. uh, but not forgotten, but forgotten. Uh, <laughs> there's a B&H dairy in town, which is weird, because there's B&H, the electronics store, which is a great place to get screamed at by the Orthodox. <laughs> That's... If, uh... But you're Jewish, you understand. That's right. Uh, well, I think we have microphones set up or uh, that are being set up uh, at the, uh, on the aisle. And if anyone would, has a question for either of these uh, gentlemen, uh. that's right. Uh, uh, please feel free to approach one of the microphones uh, and speak into it. It's getting big. Or, I mean, this is, I'm not sure this is the best way to do it, or just raise your hands and, and shout. Do, does anyone Someone's have a, Oh, here coming. we go. Here's someone. Yes. Hello. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> I turned out sure. Oh, is that working? I don't think so. Okay. Okay, okay. we can hear you, but just... We can hear you because you're close. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine you earn quite a bit of money after your successful yes. broadcast. Oh, uh, sure. Show. Sure. Uh, did you make any uh, good purchases for your apartment to commemorate the Oh, that's a fair question. That's a very good question. So, uh, so she asked, we, she uh, correctly pointed out that we made a great deal of money on the way. Yeah. That's right. And wanted to know if we made any purchases uh, for the apartment. Who's uncomfortable with the lights being this bright? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's bring the lights down a I little. I think we can turn it. Let's bring the lights down. It a seemed little. like a good idea. It's a great idea. I think it seemed temporarily like a good idea. was to get people to the microphones, and maybe now we just dim it down. Or should we? Would, By the would way, a black light be more comfortable so we can <laughs> that would not see all the crispy crumbs and uh, semen on the chair? Yeah. <laughs> So the question was regarding By the way, I just want to note that I didn't notice until just now that it just says Einstein on the back it of does. the theater. No, it also says that Spinoza up there. What does See? it say? Is Spinoza. that the one who had the pee oh, yeah. so bad and then he... You the know what about happened? that? Yeah. No, what happened with Emerson? He had the pee so bad that he died. That's how Spinoza died? I think so. Does anybody want to tell us if that's real or not? <laughs> Uh, we bought a Scarface poster on St. Mark. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. It's yeah. awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, uh, I'm Laura. Laura, it's awesome. Okay. You'll never Laura, believe it. Scarface a good father. What? Scarface, Scarface good father. Father. I'll say <laughs> the godfather. The go hmm. <laughs> Okay. Let, We're doing a good father musical that Gil's writing the score for. Can yeah. you hear it? E I D L I D L I D L I D L I D L I. I mean. So e I D L I D L I D L I D L I D L I. My only problem with that. E I D L I D L I D L I D L I. E I D L I D L I D L I. Thank you. Okay. I, I guess we're clapping. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, this gentleman yes, here. Yes, sir. Uh, what do you think about... What's your name? Um, Benji. Nice to meet you. Your name's what? Benji? Benji. <laughs> well, when are you going to change we'll, it? We'll do this. You're going to show up at Cornell and be like, we'll I want to go by BW now. We'll do, yeah. this, <laughs> we'll do this a Larry King style. We'll do a kind of ID. Go ahead, Benji, from New York. Yeah, what part of New York? What do you from? gentlemen think of fantasy Benji? leagues in general? Like what? 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 Fantasy leagues. <laughs> Internet fantasy leagues. Like Fan Bachelorette. Oh, uh, not, oh, no, oh, not Fancy Feast. I like Fancy <laughs> Feast. The kid food, fancy you eat that. that. Yeah, we eat that, but you don't nibble. get it wet. It will upset your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> fancy feast is like gremlins. Not after midnight and never get it <laughs> wet. Never get it wet. Eat it dry, baby. Eat but the notion dry, of dinging a martini glass, which you're too young for, Benji, and also even people that remember this might not laugh, but the notion of banging a martini glass with fancy feast in it was from our real life, and they stole it. <laughs> and really? Because, by the way, have you ever tried to give a toast to a cat? <laughs> Who, you know when you're at a cat wedding and you're like, you're like, they invited me, I just speak. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ding, 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 ding. I'd like to say a word about that, how they raise their tail and their butt looks like a Rolo. <laughs> Benji, what's your question? The question was about f fantasy leagues for television shows? Yeah, I just... I, I, for, like, the Bachelorette, if you Bachelorette. Oh, you, sure. You Sports. bet on who's, who's sure. going to win, or yeah. fancy football again. Yeah. You bet, so you're betting on the TV show? Yeah. 
Well, are you? We, we placed a lot. We, I lost a lot of money to the Russian mafia <laughs> on an episode of Teen Jeopardy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's as close as you're going to get yeah. to an answer. Thank you very much. It is indeed. That's and, a, I uh, wish ben, it was... Benjamin would be a wild improvement. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this gentleman here, what's your name? I would love to have a fancy, not a fantasy league, but a fancy league. You know, every, <laughs> everybody nice. wears tap shoes and little hats. <laughs> uh, That's a stereotype, I'm just not sure of what. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm Dan from Astoria, and I want... Astoria. All right, Astoria, All right, Astoria, Astoria. baby! <laughs> Queens on the way, just right where it's always been. <laughs> And I wanted to know what you guys thought of the Ben Brantley review. For ben Brantley. Ben Brantley. Ben Brantley. Oh, hello. A keen observer. The review of their show. Yeah. yeah. Which was uh, it was show. a very good too review. Too glowing, if I remember correctly, it was too <laughs> glowing reviews. I thought glowing? he had really interest, and I don't read these things, but I thought yeah. he had really interesting insights. You know. But we don't read reviews. We don't read reviews or how we were favorably, you know, reviewed to uh, David Mamet's play. <laughs> uh, I don't remember if that's... We don't read these Hamilton. message boards that, you know, say better than Hamilton. You know, yeah. Like... Uh -huh. Hotter ticket than Hamilton. Or... Yeah. We don't, we don't, we're not interested. What did you think of the review? Because <laughs> we didn't read it. He liked it a lot, and I, I liked the show a lot, too, so I just thought you guys would like to know you're getting thumbs what up. What are you, from, from the from fucking from... Daily News? <laughs> okay. Okay. He, 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 he doesn't turn, but when he turns, he turns. <laughs> yeah, he turns fast. Yeah. Yeah. I turn hard and fast. That's right. Because my mom beat the shit out of me. That's him. right. Let's not... <laughs> uh, I'll, Congrats I'll on the cargo shorts. Hello. <laughs> That's just uh, Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Hello, sirs. Oh, hello. Hello, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Thank you. What's your name? <laughs> my name is Ella. How old oh, are you, hello, Ella? Ella? My question is... How old are you? Uh, <laughs> Ella, Ella. 24. That's the worst answer yeah. you could give them. <laughs> you, you, they've got, you've given them such buffer room there, but... Yeah. Do you guys have any favorite summer activities to do here in the city? Oh, Absolutely. Sure. I love, you know, the, I love, this is my thing, is I, I meet a beautiful, gorgeous woman, and then I have her call me and say, there's a lobster loose in my house. <laughs> and I go over and I give this lobster a tennis racket. And, and then we make love, me, okay. and, me and the lobster, and the woman watches. Okay. <laughs> I get the tightest white jean shorts you've ever seen in your life. I get foam headphones. Look me in the eye. <laughs> I get real four-wheel roller skates. Yeah. I go from the Freedom Tower okay. to the plaza, yeah. just skating like that. Okay. You know what? <laughs> you know what, George? You, you, George, you during need, the you summer... Need, you need, you need to, Ella's you a go. very Ella, leave her alone. beautiful Ella, name. Ella, La Vita, think, La Vita, La Vita Bella. Bella. Life is beautiful. Uh, I, I think Canadian. what we've learned there is there is just not going to be a safe question. No. <laughs> uh, but, you know, when Georgie's on the roller skates, we call him Lou Groovy. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's in rhinestones on my ass. It says <laughs> Lou that makes Groovy. Sense, yeah. And it gets so sweaty. My thighs... Let's, let's, let's go to a... Brett from... Um, What's, Florida. Wait, that's What's Brett, Brett from Florida. Brett, Brett from, from Florida. Florida. Yeah. Okay. Florida. Oh, um, hello. What part of Florida? Orlando. Oh, oh. all right. Not Boca. Um, the Jewel. <laughs> of... <laughs> the Jewel of Murderville. That'd be right. <laughs> Publix. Who was your favorite interview during the run? Oh, well, actually, before you even get to that question, we should probably show people there's a clip that they wanted. Oh, sure. To we show. So there is. There is a, 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 right, a right. clip of, Fantastic. I believe, Steve Martin. Yeah. Which we could... Uh, we Can could... we roll the clip? Can we roll yeah, the clip? We'll and then, then we'll the get clip. back... Then we'll get back into it. Sorry that you didn't get much time, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll tell you... Do you, you have any memorabilia from films, things you've taken that are special to you? Yes. Would you name them now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have my Three Amigos outfit. Mm. Oh, Does it... Do you ever put it on? Do I ever put it on? Yeah, you ever wear it? Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to go there now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you could be deported very quickly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, 
You know, uh, Trump is doing a remake. Oh, he is? Yeah, it's called No Amigos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you ever know Trump? Did you, in your dealings? I've never met him. Never, never, never met, met him. him. No. Never no. met him? No. Interesting. He wasn't at New Yorker cocktail parties? <laughs> no. No? No. No. I mean, that, that would be very unlikely, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah. it would. Like, and you never went to Maxim Hottest 100 parties? <laughs> He really liked Isn't that. that fun? He really liked so, that. And no one gets hurt. It's humor without people getting yeah. hurt. So that's, so that's, so I guess, what would the answer to, uh, to Ben's question? Uh, this Steve Martin was wonderful. Michael J. Fox is also on Netflix with this, with this binge watch. But our favorite, our favorite guest, of course, we had John uh, Leguizamo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we didn't even have him on. Yeah. <laughs> But he was the first John. But like if we had had John Leguizamo, he would have been our favorite. The, uh, I mean, just the sense. most fun. Yes, to the side here. Hi. So, Gil. What's your name? What's your name? Amelia. Amelia. What's your name? Amelia. 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 I'm from Brooklyn, genuinely. Okay. I, for, like, born and raised? <laughs> yeah. What part of Brooklyn? You don't need to answer that. Yes. Uh, no, yes. no, no. What's I, just, your I, I love neighborhoods. Well, what's you, your address? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I live downtown now. Oh, downtown. Very vague. Okay. Very vague. Okay. <laughs> I live Very downtown. Very wise. Uh, your question. Gil, can I ask how it's going with the raccoons? Lisa? With the raccoons? The raccoon. Lisa the raccoon. Yes. Uh, it's, a, it's a real will they, won't they? It's a roller coaster. <laughs> Right. And we will and have, and uh, I make love to a raccoon. I don't yeah. know for the people who haven't seen the play, who here saw the Broadway play, who saw the show? Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot. And then who here is just here for the free fucking ride here? I mean, come on, folks. It's been a real, it's been a real Russ Rachel, uh, which is, Russ, Russ is, has daughters, Russ and daughters, and one of them is named Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but Lisa and I are in contact, you know. She's had a child. It's a, I guess it's sort of a mole person. <laughs> I, guess I don't think that's, that's not the profession. I mean, it's a half raccoon, half man. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But, uh, you know, he's... Is he, what, what are you gonna, how are you gonna raise him? Are we gonna raise him Jewish? <laughs> of course. Will he be by mitzvah? Yeah, he's gonna have a bar mitzvah, of course he is. Yeah. Did you have a bar mitzvah? Yeah, I had a bar mitzvah. What was the theme? Uh, the color brown. <laughs> <laughs> what was your theme? Do you have what bar was mitzvah? your theme? <laughs> Back to the future. Uh, <laughs> yeah! Hello. Hey, all right. The warrior. This guy doesn't give a shit. Okay. <laughs> um, so you two what's claim. Your what's your name? name? Oh, uh, Dimitri. 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 Yeah. What? bad punk band are you in? <laughs> uh, this is uh, the Clash t-shirt. Ah, yeah. yeah. You All know, right. we used to hang out at CBGB's with the Clash. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Carol Burnett's Grapefruit Brunches. Yeah. CBGB. So I do have a musical question, actually. You uh, two claim to be big fans of Steely Dan, claim. so my question Indeed. is... Wow. The tone. The tone, the claim. I'm so sorry. You, you, you are. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. So what is your favorite Steely Dan song or album? Ooh. And why? Uh, song or album? Ooh. Song or album. That's and why? The Royal Scam yeah. and The uh, Caves of Altamira. I, I personally... And why? Uh, I like... <laughs> what did he say? Uh, why? He wa and why? He wants to know and why. why? <laughs> I have another Greek question. And why? I like ga I like gaucho, gaucho. Probably, and that's mainly because I just like ornery Argentines. <laughs> also, it's indescribable, Dimitri. I don't mean to jump down your throat, but you know, you and I have been at each other's, you know, and what it is, there's no describing the what happens when you put on pop rock just fusion, because this guy just start. It's the hips first with this one. Mm -hmm. And then it's those little, those little decalcified shoulders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then this little tush. I mean, we called him the tush of 29th Street when I met him. Because he hung out on 8th Avenue and 29th, which is now filled with very mediocre restaurants. And he would shake his little rockin' ass all night long. And he would just, he would sell me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, you can't put into words. What about you, Jen Oliver? What's your favorite Steely Dan album? Not a fan. What? Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> we, we, we can gloss over that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, how you doing? I'm Brian. Brian? Hello, Brian. Brian. Where are you from? Uh, Lower East Side. Brian, did you wrestle in high school? <laughs> no, I didn't. I played yeah. rugby in college. You played what? Rugby. 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 What's that? It's, uh, it's like American it's football without the protection or organizational skills. Uh, yeah. so, uh, <laughs> so American football. So, yeah, but so, uh, and, and concussions and long-term brain damage? We're, we're British, we don't acknowledge that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, another music-based question. What's your go-to karaoke song and can we get a taste? Ooh. Oh. Ooh, that's, wow. Okay, I, do, I do, I uh, do, my karaoke basic. thing, if I've had a few, I do Dukakis' acceptance speech. <laughs> In the 88 convention. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I do a whole, I have a whole shtick. That's yeah. nice. Uh, I think we do a duet to the Carmel Cars uh, song. Six, 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 six. The number six, right around town. <laughs> What's your karaoke song, <laughs> you, don't, you don't need to hear mine. <laughs> it's, it's Speaking of jingles, it's the, it's, the, it's the British national anthem. How does Delino that go? And oh, Boris. Canada. Fuck you. I apologize. <laughs> I was, I was interrupting, but speaking of jingles, Salino and Barnes have I, separated. Yes. yes. You guys know that Salino and That's Barnes true. is separated? That is true. And it was, you it's know, tough. and I can't even sing it hey, now hey. without, and I'm not one to cry. You guys know me. I'm not one. <laughs> but when I say 800. <laughs> <laughs> but no more. It's so mournful when you sing it now. Do one of your researches on Salino and Barnes. <laughs> well, just These what were happened? injury attorneys. How did two injury attorneys who sue everybody <laughs> end up suing each other? <laughs> How did enough. that happen? We'll never know. I, uh, Is that a dog on your shirt? It's a, it's, it's a wolf. It's uh -huh. a wolf. Okay. Oh, right. You're a, a man of dog. great power and integrity. Yeah. Yeah. That's a wolf with glasses on, though. Is it a drawing? <sighs> man, I don't know. I just wear it. You just wear it. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> my, my name's Henry Wolf, charmed, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> I was wondering if you Wait, had. Wait, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Your question no longer matters. Yeah. yeah. You're Henry, Henry, Wolf? Henry Wolf. Oh, I've right. got a drawing of a Faison on it's... my shirt. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. It's so I, it's so I don't forget, right? It's just... Never forget. It's never forget. Never, never forget. forget. And we don't. And we don't. And we don't. We don't. We never Never will. forget my come from away joke from earlier. <laughs> in the never forget. It's an Amazon wish list. Uh, Henry... Yes, Henry T-shirt. Go ahead. What's your question? Yeah. <laughs> so Where are you was... from? I'm from Manhattan. What yeah. part of Manhattan? Upper East Side, but I'm not going to get more specific than that. That's okay. fine. All right. where, did, where did you go to his school? Did you go, are you still in his school? I go to Trevor. Yeah. yeah. yeah Trevor Noah. Oh. <laughs> it's a step up from Dwight, and we, we, okay. <laughs> we celebrate you. Dwight, for, Dwight from the office. OK. <laughs> Uh, tr so, your question. I was wondering if you, if you had any advice uh, writing a college essay. Any surefire opening lines? Sure. Uh, surefire opening lines? Sure oh, yeah. Fire. This is a, yeah, this is a. Someone call the fucking cops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you get into your wit stillman life that you live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's, You're yeah, welcome. I think it's, you know, you go, look, I'm, I'm a rich white kid from Manhattan. You don't know how hard we have it now that they're giving everything to everybody else. Allow me to stretch the milk toast ups and downs of my life into, yeah. into yeah. a real essay. Yeah. But where are you applying? But my billionaire hedge fund father will probably figure <laughs> something out. <laughs> Or I'm not Henry Bouvier Onassis Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> that, thank you, Hank. That, thank you, thank you, Henry. Thank you. Thank you. I think you've learned to, you've learned a hard but memorable lesson about that T-shirt. <laughs> uh, oh, over here, you just scrap it. Scrap the T-shirt. Good evening. Yep. 
Hello. Hi, I'm oh, my name's Tess. Tess? Oh, yes. Tess Dubervilles. <laughs> I was actually named after the movie, but the my Polanski parents movie? never read the book, so. Really? You were named after a <laughs> Roman Polanski? Named after our dear friend Roman Polanski's <laughs> film? <laughs> Your it's parents t named you after a post-scandal <laughs> Roman Polanski? <laughs> yeah. I, oh, my son is named CBS Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> What's your question? Tess. I, uh, my so daughter, OJ, would love to hear your question. <laughs> For backstory, I'm from Georgia. Oh, so we're in Georgia. Oh, okay. um, the cool Savannah. Place. Savannah. <laughs> Haunted. Midnight in the garden of Spacey. <laughs> blue balconies. Paint your balcony blue, or the ghosts will get you. Mm -hmm. That's true. It is yeah. true. That's true. Um, I was wondering, as lifelong best friends and roommates, sure. Uh, sure. if you guys had an ideal mandate, what would you do together if money was no object? Money's no Money's object. No no object. object. First, well, first we go straight to the coin star. Yeah. And, <laughs> and we'd, Gil would have one of his big sleep t-shirts filled. Because <laughs> I buy him these double XLs, and he goes, this doesn't fit me. I go, it's a sleep shirt. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, what it is is it's a t-shirt. It looks like a, a prison t-shirt, and it says Alcatraz on it. <laughs> But then it's stamped and it says, too cute. And okay. so I guess I'm not allowed in the prison at Alcatraz for being too cute. So they release me to go to sleep. So, so, it, so if you were to have an evening together. I think we just explained it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> Over there. We'd go to a fairway and try to use the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> yes, oh, hello. Oh, hello. What's your name? Jessica. 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 How old are you, Jessica? I am what? You're allowed to move the microphone. Yeah. You yeah. look yeah. like you're a hamster feeding <laughs> off of a water. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you again for coming. Thank coming. you, and God bless. And thank you for coming to this It's show. a tough break, Jessica, but you did use the microphone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you, you chummed the water yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'm wondering if either of you are active on any online dating sites. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Oh, sure. Okay, that's a good question. Absolutely. I'm on this, you know, there's Bumble. Yes. I'm on the Brambles, which is What's a different that? one. Is that where it's women... It's just you go to Central Park and find... <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just I have guys a profile in Pics on Megan's Law database, which you can get. Uh, <laughs> I thought, you know, I thought that'd be a lot of fun for everyone. <laughs> uh, great question. Yeah. Um, Hi. I'm, oh, hello. Uh, What's your name? Whitney. Uh, Whitney. Whitney. I like your nice. shirt. I like That's your That's merch. Shirt. That's merch from Oh, Hello. And it is? Uh, uh, downtown. In town. Is that, is oh, you bought it in town. The Cherry Lane, Official baby. Merch? Cherry oh, Lane wow. Theater. Deep cut. You're an early adapter. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I bet you have your full name at Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. It's yeah. Whitney, but I'm a guy at Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Warner Wolf's son? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite tuna sandwich in New York City or a favorite diner? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. sure. Absolutely. We do. The I, I, Brooklyn Diner at LaGuardia. <laughs> <laughs> Near the lids, Whitney. <laughs> Near the lids. Yes, over there. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. Okay, I like the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Tribeca. I'm from Connecticut, actually. Oh, You're from Connecticut? Where in Connecticut? Uh, you take Metro Fairfield? North? Yep. Fairfield? Fairfield. Where'd right. you stop on Metro North? Fairfield. Fairfield? Fairfield. Were you a figure skater growing up? <laughs> I, I, I cannot yet pin down why that question is so creepy. <laughs> but I, I know instinctively that I think everything soup to nuts is. about it is creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the worst question I've ever heard anyone <laughs> ask. I'm absolutely what about horrified that you were asked that. What about when you gave Snowden a pass? <laughs> Where do you guys get your Sorry, what did you say, sweetheart? Where do you guys shop? 
Where do we shop? Where do we shop? Oh. oh, wonderful. This is great. I go to Claire's for magnet earrings. <laughs> <laughs> I go to, there's this wonderful late night, uh, there's this wonderful late night oh. uh, Indian restaurant yep. down t in town where the uh -huh. kid drivers eat. And I'll go there and I'll eat a big styrofoam of green mush. Because <laughs> I love getting diarrhea at 5 a.m. <laughs> Sharp. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, uh, I go to Daffy's Bargains for Millionaires, <laughs> uh, which has no remaining location. And then, okay. and then we'll go to a Regal Cinema. We go to Regal Cinema. To, we, that's where we get paid, because I butter the floor. <laughs> I fly up in the air during Hidden Figures, land it on my neck, got Ooh. a big-ass settlement from Regal. I'll tell you, they sh I thought Hidden Figures was going to be about you in a bikini, because nobody knows what a good figure you are. I have a <laughs> wonderful figure. It's like a pair that died. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, hello. Guys. Thank uh, you for wearing a thank space coat. Thank you for wearing a space hey. coat. Yeah. <laughs> the least I could do for, for the two of you guys. Absolutely. So anyways, I'm Ray. Uh, What's your name? Ray. Ray? Ray. Ray. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Ray. So uh, I've been a big fan of you guys for a long time. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I don't know why we close our eyes, because yeah. he No, it's, it's a, kind of funny. I do the same thing when I'm on the subway on the 4 or 5 train in the morning, you know, when you it's really crowded. The 4 or 5 train? The 4 or 5, you know, they stop at all the same stops. In okay. Canton, well, so they're it, not really. Okay. Interchange. Okay. <laughs> what much. about the 6 in a jam? Will you do it? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, what do you mean, no? No. I'm not. <laughs> what not, if there's an AM Weekly and soda on the seat? That's nice. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's always an added plus, you know. You it, ever, it makes the morning commute a little more tolerable. Ray, you ever get on a train, you're like, oh boy, and this is air conditioned, there's nobody on here, and then you realize, you know, there is someone on there. Oh, it's the only time that I have a better experience on the subway is when uh, the same thing happens in a car, but there's no air conditioning. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Do you yeah, ever wait for the train and you think it's coming and then it's that weird yellow and black garbage Yeah, what's train? the deal with that? <laughs> that Especially... thing's real, right? I'm not imagining that thing. <laughs> I'm waiting oh, for the day that that train stops at the station and I get to actually yeah. get on. I'm, the I'm, ghost I'm, of Ed Koch gets yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> So, the anyways, trainer, as they call it in Hoboken, the train. Yeah. Yes. And so that's right. a shot. So I've been a fan of you guys for many years. Of course. From yeah. your your early beginnings on Wolo. Oh, uh, W O. You know, to w O L O. L O. Yes. Yes. Uh, and then you guys, I know, took some time. You left the city to find yourselves, and then sure. you guys... We know our story. Yeah, no, no, I, I know, I know. Just my due diligence leading up to the question. Yeah. So you guys are bigger than ever now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and I'm just, I'm wondering, what is the ceiling for you two? I mean, is it, at this point, is it unreasonable to say, you know, he, just speculate? There's not a Faison, softball than Saint this, right? St. <laughs> 2020. Got it. Where, uh, how high can demented 70-year-old white New York men rise? That's... <laughs> Yes. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, wave. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Andrea. 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 You should go by Andrea. And uh, Andrea. Andrea. Yeah. Now it's Andrea. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I've this is exciting and you're nervous. Yeah. Suspense. You're confident, but you're nervous. Yeah. Okay, let's Come go. On. Yeah. Every, every second you wait puts more pressure on this it's question. It's a dream and a nightmare. Yeah. Okay. We believe in you. So. you Come can... on, you practiced on the LIRR. Let's get it out. Uh, now from Prospect Heights. Go Prospect ahead. Prospect Heights? What's your so question? I'm from Tennessee. Uh-huh. Uh, and I was thinking about a question for a while, and this is the best I could come up with. Right, okay. all right. What do all y'all remember most from the fifth grade? Okay. The fifth grade. Oh, this is, that's actually a great question. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, w I, my, I lived with my grandmother, who was always trying to kill me. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I hated her guts. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and so one time, she tried, she, when I was 10, she's, and she was very religious, you know? So every day she's like, today's the apocalypse. I go, shut your mouth. <laughs> she grabbed me. Which religion? She tried, to, what? She's, she, we're Dutch, we're Dutch French Presbyterians, seven, <laughs> 
Seventh-day Adventist Lutherans. Wow. <laughs> she tried to drown me in the sink, the kitchen sink. She held me under. And I would have died if it wasn't for the colander. Yeah. <laughs> and let's see, in fifth grade, I was a couple years away from stopping nursing. And Your mother was, she was wonderful. Oh, my mother. She just, was so dumb. She would take my... <laughs> She was a dim, she would now be considered dim. And uh, in today's politically correct lexicon. In between her huge Polish tits. Let, let me say she was, She was such a character, you know, she was so uneducated let me, and frumpy. Let me, let but me she say, had heart, you know, and it had a heart attack. Please. She was, she was in the freak show in Coney please, Island. Please. She was so uneducated. Please. We need to hear John. Let me save you from yourself. Yes. Sorry. Uh, Hey, all right, David Barton, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Just, not, no, that was not towards that, that but go ahead. Yeah. Just biceps. <laughs> yeah. uh, hi, my name is Michael. I'm from New Jersey. All right. We're in Jersey. NJ, baby. Uh, Bergen County. Bergen County. Bergen, Bergen County. County, great. Very upset I people. Was just <laughs> I was just wondering if uh, Gil and George, if you guys have ever partied with any of the 1986 New York Mets. Oh my God, have we partied with the Mets? Bless yeah, you. you know, this is a great question. We saw uh, Dwight Gooden, uh, Dwight Gooden the doc, as he was known. Right. He hits the Weir at Shea Stadium one day, and uh, this is 85, 86, and he- uh, We have so much zinc on our nose. Yeah. <laughs> He yearns. We see the good in yearn. And we so, we think he's tired. We go out there and go, hey, you want to try Kikan? He goes, I've never done this before. <laughs> and so we give him a key bump of cocaine. Because, and boy, did he, t <laughs> he, he, did, he to took to it. He took to it. He took to it. He did. Years later, we it. see him in a huge suit, much too big for his side, and he's sweating <laughs> buckets. <laughs> And he goes, I'm trying to get clean. And we go, come on, let's go out and have a little fun. <laughs> <laughs> we bury him. It's uh, it's, uh, and you know, Daryl Strawberry did not start the women's shoe st uh, store Strawberry. <laughs> but the answer is Lenny Dykstra. Yeah. Hi, my name's Gabby. I'm from New Jersey. Nice Hi, to meet Gabby. you, Gabby. <laughs> And my question is, what is your favorite daytime television show? Oh. <laughs> well, I get all of my, I, I you know, I, 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 I'm or uh, health insurance, so I just do, I get all my prescriptions from Dr. Oz. I do all of it. What, what were your favorite of the rotating Kelly Ripper co-hosts? Oh. Who, who were you really hoping for? Oh, oh, that's interesting. Mm. Let's see. I was hoping they'd get, bench. just for chemistry, get, get Mary Kay Letourneau and Billy Falau in there. It's a real will they work. I mean, a cooking segment with the two of them. Right. The comedy writes itself, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, let's see. I, I like... Uh, I like a Dr. Oz. Uh, yeah. And I have a, uh, we have that, uh, we have a little GoPro in the uh, bathroom at a Lucille <laughs> Roberts, and we'll watch the we'll watch feed uh, from Lucille Roberts' hidden camera bathroom show. Yeah. Which show is dressing up what it is. It's a hidden camera that we installed in the dead of night. I mean, the greatest irony of that is how we got our hands on a GoPro. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. we, we have time for a couple more. Yes, go. Yeah. Hi there. I'm Emerson, I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah. Your, your name is Emerson? Yes. One of the great comedy colleges. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, my question for you guys is, uh, what, what would you say your most embarrassing moment is? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I went with my uh, first uh, missing wife to the hospital. <laughs> And the doctor said, I'm sorry, man, but you have lupus. It's hereditary. Maybe you're born with it. And I cracked. Maybe it's Maybelline. And yeah. <laughs> I have always regretted that. <laughs> it, it, it happens. And I think for me, it was, it was actually at my bar mitzvah. And uh, we had one of those clear podiums. <laughs> <laughs> You did? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and I was nervous before, so my mom said, have a little milk magnesia. <laughs> turns out I'm uh, for sure lactose intolerant. <laughs> and it turns out deeply allergic to magnesium as well. And it just started running down my legs. 
But the thrill of that got you aroused. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a both sides scenario. Yeah. So I'm hard as a rock. <laughs> Doing and he's the the I'm doing power. the Haftara. And, yeah. Uh, Singing like an angel, by the way. <laughs> yes, over there. Hi, my name is Leah, and I was wondering where you guys like to go on vacation for this. Oh, oh mm. wonderful. Have you, do you, uh, Kipkat? Mm -hmm. Hearts Island, you know, uh, Potter's Field where they bury the homeless. <laughs> Uh, it's near, it's like, do you know, have you been to Hearts Island? It's, it's an island with no electricity where they bury people that no one claimed. Have you been there? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. T uh, they, the, the Clintons go there, Ted and Mary go there. Yeah. <laughs> Ted and Mary. <laughs> Ted and, Ted, 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 Ted and Mary. We'll do, we'll do one more question. This oh, is probably the last one. Yeah. Oh, hello. Nice to share Oh, yes. Um, so my question for you guys is, um, you're obviously both very passionate men. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'd love I a name to go with the memory later. What's your name? Ashley. <laughs> Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> Wait, Ashley. Have either of you ever thought for running for public office? And if you did, what issues would you take a hard stand oh. on? Uh, <sighs> you know, it's been a, I, I've been passionate about the same things, uh, you know, for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, vending machines and <laughs> still, still vending still. machines still. in the classroom. Should a, should a, should a Reese's on a hot day melt in a vending machine, or should they be refrigerated? <laughs> and who's going to cover that cost? Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. And what about the Benadryl they sometimes have? <laughs> Inside of them, slipped. Uh, I mean, we were thinking of running for co-mayor of New York. Yeah. And Did we had they a slogan. Do what was it? Come here. Come here. We want, we're running for co-mayor. Come, Come here. here. <laughs> Better than this de Blasio, this, yeah, this de utter Blasio. disgrace. Oh, yeah. This utter and There was disgrace. a gasp. There was a gasp when we said de Blasio. There was a gasp? Yeah, there was a gasp. Well, I, I'm going to sound off about it. Oh, boy, here we go. I, res I respect this mayor, but I'll tell you, this city was so much better back in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> a burning trash heap. A burning trash oh, heap. What about Bloomberg, though? Bloomberg? Yeah. You like him? You know, look, no, we, we, get, we hate every mayor, uh, yeah. <laughs> whether they follow our, our wishes or not. Right. But Bloomberg, ugh, that fucking guy. I mean, he turned this city into a diorama because he would, he would cover it in beige carpeting and then he'd be like, shoes off. It's a legitimate criticism. Um, okay, one more. And then, then, one more and we'll name we for something yeah. good no matter what you ask. Um, so this is a joint question. My name is Michaela and my boyfriend's name is Woody. Nice. He actually works at Zabar's. Oh. He does. So we're which wondering. One? Oh, oh, which which one? Your name is Woody? His name is actually Woody. Okay. Which which the which bar? Uh, we're on the one on the west side, the the real one. Nice. Okay. The There's real no one. other real. Wow. Eighty first in Bridway. Eighty yeah. first in Bridway. Yeah. So the question is, what's your favorite item from Zabar's? Uh, oh. For me, it's a it's a chocolate babka. <laughs> <laughs> I like a Zabar's okay. chocolate babka stuffed with smoked whitefish. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. And I like a thing they do called Yesterday's Bread, where you could get the bread <laughs> right put, they're gonna donate it to a hospice, but I get in there. <laughs> yeah. What are they gonna do with it? Yeah. Well, I, I wanna thank uh, George and Gil for uh, <laughs> promoting your special. Thank here you. Tonight. Yeah, no, thank <laughs> that was you. Very, welcome. That was very nice of you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, oh, Hello launches globally on, on Netflix today. Uh, uh, you yes, can watch, so it. watch it on Netflix. Uh, and we just, we just, we, we want to thank all the people who worked on the show. A bunch of them are here tonight. So Anyone? if you worked on the show, maybe get stand up really Andrew quickly. Way, on the film. Thank, thank you, you so much. Get up, stand up. Thank you for working on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Round of applause. Heidi from the Lyceum. Adam Stout, everybody. Thank you. Wow. And, um, and we want to, and we do want to thank Jen Oliver for yeah. coming and taking his night off and yeah. doing this for us. It's a bump for you. It's a bump it's up a in your career. Bump. 
Uh, but we are grateful for the work you're doing every day. <laughs> yeah. Every world, you really I mean, know. it writes itself Fuck these you. days. <laughs> yeah. You don't even have to write anything. That's right. I like that you can insult Jim Oliver all night and not hear a word back, but as soon as you try to thank him and say something nice, he loses his <laughs> mind. <laughs> thank you, Jim Oliver. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.